Hey, what's up guys? Staying down here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. I'm just going to be doing some trout and red fishing. Got beautiful conditions. It's the end of December, a few days away from Christmas, and the temperatures of the water are still in the 60 degree, 60 degree range. And uh, there should be some trout and some redfish still biting. I'm going to be throwing a variety of uh, soft plastics like trout tricks and uh, you know Z-Man minnows and uh, hopefully connect with some fish. Um, I rented this Jackson uh, kayak from Black River Outdoors in Pauly's Island. And it's a nice kayak. I'm not used to, um, I haven't been out here paddling to, you know, in a long time to get where I'm going because I have a Hobie kayak. So it should be an interesting day. So uh, let's go catch some fish. I'm heading my way out to the main channel of uh, Girls Inlet here because I feel like I want to try and find some deep water pockets because I have, I have a feeling that's where those trout are going to be hanging, like deep water pockets. So I'm going to be fishing a lot of points and different little eddies behind different little eddies to try and connect with some fish. Fish on, just hooked up. Just hooked up with something funny. Woo! Some kind of jack or something. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> just fishing a little eddy area. I actually had my cameras off because I didn't even feel like I didn't even think I was gonna get a get a fish, but just caught on that uh, XPS Bass Pro Shops grub right here, Merrill's Merrill's Inlet Main Creek. Whew. Well, you know, not a trout or a redfish, but uh, you know, good first uh, fish of the day. He's croaking. I think it's some kind of jack or something. Nice little fish though. It's good to bend the rod with that uh, Saint Croix Premier, my uh, brand new Saint Croix Premier. Let's get, a, get him on his way. All right, well, that spot, this spot seemed to die. I'm going to move on to, my, to another spot and see if I can catch some uh, trout or some redfish. You know, I had that one jack, and um, I'm glad right now just to, uh, to have caught something. So uh, let's go try and catch some more fish. First, first sea trout of the day. I'm really stoked right now. It, it's, <laughs> it's probably, you know, you guys could, pro could probably say this is probably one of the smallest spotted sea trouts you've ever seen. But this is my first spotted sea trout that I've ever caught. Beautiful, just on that little white ice XPS Bass Pro Shops white grub on a quarter ounce bullet head pan jig head. Nice, uh, pretty fish. Get him on his way. There he goes. Alright, well I switched over to a lighter jig head and uh, the jig head also is a trout eye jig head with those big yellow eyes and I'm thinking that this will get me a few more fish because it, it'll sink a little bit slower and then it has a, has a real big eye on it to give it, give it, a, give it some good lifelike action. Yeah, it just swims great. bigger sea trout, not bad. Just on that white grub again. Woo. You know, again, they're not big, but I'm still pretty stoked because I'm catching these fish. That water is warm. There he goes. Let me just tell you what my simple setup is, basically. is um, I'm using a St. Croix Premier 7-foot medium power fast action spinning rod with a 40 optic spinning reel. This is my, my, my go-to reel. I bring this 40 optics quantum optic spinning reel everywhere with me. And it's rigged with 15 pound test Green Moss Power Pro. And then I have a 15 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon uh, blue label leader, which then I'm tying direct to my little grub. So, uh, you know, the two sea trout that I caught, they haven't been big. 
but it's something and it's bending the rod I'm happy you know it um, like I said this is a new body of water for me I'm not too familiar with it but it's really reassuring to, it was really cool and reassuring to come down here and uh, you know figure out these fish so uh, let's catch some more basically just throwing this white grub out towards the, uh, the main channel where then I'm just kind of slowly working it along the bottom and every so often giving it a couple jigs here and there. There he is. Uh, he hit it after the jig and so this might be a little bit bigger fish. Swimming right towards me. Oh. I said it might be a little bigger fish. He's a smaller one. Probably the smallest one of the day. <laughs> Smaller than the smallest one. <laughs> That's a little guy right there. <laughs> Just on that white grub. <sighs> I'm loving it right now. Pretty fish. They're so pretty. Gorgeous fish. Great colors and everything. Really nice fish. the gill plate there. <laughs> Alright, well I came to this uh, this next little spot that looked really good. It's, uh, you know, this is Main Creek over here and then another creek is flowing down into Main Creek and the tide just started going out so I really have some good current here that there should be some sea trout and hopefully even a redfish you know, right here by uh, this creek mouth. That's a good fish. A nice, nice sea trout. Just pretty fish. And let me show you what he ate. He just ate what I've been, you know, using all day. Just that that trout eye jig head with a XPS Bass Pro Shops white ice rub. And that is a pretty fish. I believe this is a keeper fish. You know, I don't know how they taste. Uh, if they taste pretty good, let me know, guys. Uh, I'm probably gonna throw this, throw this nice, pretty, healthy fish back. Really warm fish too. You know that water temperature is in the, uh, you know, mid 60s, low 60s right now, and it's it's the end of December, mid December. It's you know a few days away from Christmas, and I'm able to come out here in a kayak I rented from Black River Outdoors in Pauly's Island and catch these beautiful fish. Woo! All right, guys, so uh, let's get a nice, healthy release on this pretty fish. It's not a monster, but in my book, 
You know, I haven't caught. This is only this is my fourth spotted sea trout I've ever caught. You know, this is uh, it's a lot heftier and bigger than the ones that I caught um, earlier today. So this is a bonus in my book. Whew, nice pretty fish. Let's get a good release on her. There she goes. Another one of these. caught that little snapper he didn't cut my he didn't cut the end of the grub off at all it's completely fine <laughs> that's that's good that's good for me don't have to put on a new one oh my god another one of these devils snapper left behind this one's definitely taken dang this little cocktail is <laughs> oh my gosh really <laughs> look what look what bluefish left of that oh my god look what he left of that <laughs> come on baby I'm trying to catch some trout stop tell your buddies to stop eating Nice sea trout. They're just loving this white grub today. Loving it on that trout eye. Caught this one, I was just hanging it in the current and uh, he just nailed it. They're just so gorgeous, these spotted sea trout. Beautiful fish, so beautiful. Nice little guy right there. Alright guys, so today was a pretty decent day. Caught some sea trout, some bluefish, and a jack. And uh, I'm not too familiar with fish in South Carolina for sea trout or redfish. And luckily I was able to, you know, do some research and gain some knowledge and use that knowledge to come out here today and catch some sea trout, you know, one of my targeted species. And uh, I was just using that Bass Pro Shops XPS White Ice Grub on a Trout Eye Jig Head. And that's pretty much how I was catching my fish. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Get out here and catch some fish.